Prince Harry avoids answering how are you question during interview with Meghan Markle. Prince Harry dodged a question asking him how are you during his and Meghan Markle's appearance in the special Time 100 talk. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex has a Time 100 talk on social media and where Harry gave a unique answer to the question. Harry later shared an update on the baby Archie Harrison male bed when sore. The virtual conversation is latest appearance from the royals with the couple previously speaking to Time about the U.S. election. Brazieri went as how he was by the Time editor-in-chief Edward Fessentor, instead focused on the impact of coronavirus on people's life. He said, I think when people ask how are you, I sense, you know, it's a case of really, how are you? And before this year, I think everyone sort of throws that term around and everyone's satisfied with yeah, I'm good, I'm fine, and thanks, and then it's moving on to something else. But I think you're quite right, this year more than so and ever is really quite a question of no, 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 actually, how are you? Megan then added how they have used lockdown to get quality time with Archie. She said, all things consider everything, everyone is grappling with a different version of the same thing. For us, we're trying to embrace all the quality time we get with our son right now and to not miss a single moment of his growth and development, which has been really special. Harry added, we have the opportunity to spend some more time as a family than we could otherwise. Previously, Prince Harry and Harry say that he was fortunate to have enough space during the pandemic and expressed gratitude for his position. He said on a video call to Rugby Football College, I'm just unbelievably fortunate and grateful to have outdoor space and see my son able to be outside because I know so many people just haven't had an opportunity in the last five months. Our little man is our number one priority of work, but after that is the second priority and we are just trying to do everything we can do to our part to make the world better place. The Duke also joke. He needs a few mini rugby balls that I can then get Archie involved with the game because at the moment it's impossible to find any. It comes as Prince Harry has been speculated to be unhappy in the US, according to royal biographer Angela Levine. She said to the royal bird, he looks terribly unhappy. His face looks absolutely dead. He's used to sparkle. He's charismatic. He's also lively, it makes you feel energized as if you're taking an energy pill and this is all words. Miss Living said that she thinks this because of his body language and added, he flicks questions and whatever he did or does, that is because he doesn't want to answer that question, he wants to present something else. He could have said more, lot more about why he liked it, but it went straight off. The royal couple. The royal couple also spoke during the Time 100 appearance about the dangers of the social media during the coronavirus pandemic. Prince Harry said, there's an overwhelming desire for everybody out there for truth because there is no much information being thrown around from one side to the other. What is happening in the outline world is affecting the world. It's not restricted to certain platforms of certain social media, conversations or groups. This is a global crisis. A global crisis of hate, a global crisis of misinformation, and a global health crisis.